I'm about to feel like a really bad blog. And one of the many things that happened in my dream last night. Who are you and what have you done with Anam? <laughs> morning um it's 11:30 a.m. Uh, a i started the day a little bit late because if you saw yesterday's vlog you know that i woke up at 4 a.m. yesterday it was a productive day but last night i slept like a zombie do zombies sleep no it's usually said when you're like half awake half asleep i slept like a log <laughs> i slept like a log i completely passed out i slept so well alhamdulillah it's a very weird dreams especially one of the one of the many my dreams are really vivid i don't know if i've ever said that to you and i don't know if you're going to completely judge me for this but basically i have like really clear dreams um and one of the many things that happened in my dream last night was that my, one of my nails fell off and i was upset because it's a press on set and i'm like oh my god i'm going to have to order a whole new set that was really 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 weird I, and and this was in the middle of an otherwise really like deep dream when i say deep dream like it was a life based dream that i don't want to share on the internet um i'm a really weird dream person i've always been like that all my child all all my life since i was a child question of the day do you remember your dreams cuz like my mom doesn't remember her dreams but my dad and i and even the kids and a couple of other members in our family we all really do remember our dreams so are you like team dream not dream dream are you like team dream do you get it do you get my ridiculous jokes um <laughs> Or are you like no dreams? Like, do you remember them? Do you not remember them? Sound off in the comments. I'm really curious to know. I have a meeting literally in the next twenty five minutes, but I'm so chill about it because uh, it is literally in the next building from where I live. I literally just have to go down, go into the next building, go up, and have this meeting. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I mentioned like a certain project I've been working on. Uh, I actually started working on it. Should I just tell you what it is? Because like, screw that. Maybe I should just mention it in the vlogs and then not mention it anywhere else. So you guys will always know what I'm talking about. So you know, I've been wanting to have. Um, I've been going in, going back and forth rather on having my own podcast for a while. But a lot of you have told me over a period of time that it I should and the, like because I like to chat and because whatever that I should have my my own podcast. So I met up with someone who is a um, podcast network. founder completely by accident at another podcast recording and we got talking and i had a meeting with them at some point in i think it was october or november mm. and we are having our second like we've talked a lot on email since then and we have our second meeting today and i am really excited because this is where like shit gets real and uh, it's not going to happen like immediately or soon so i just want to be really honest and straight up about that this is something that is going to take at least another month two months maybe three to come to life because if i'm really genuinely going to do this i'm going to give it my all and properly like properly properly prep this like a professional podcaster and uh, i'm so excited to add that feather to my like to my cap uh feather to my hat or feather to my cap what is it add another feather to the cap i think it's cap um so i have that meeting today i have to get ready really quickly but we're going to keep this glam super minimal because i'm going to come back home and film something else that's really interesting uh which i'll show you through the course of the vlog uh let's get started okay i'm going to start off and get ready i've had this bb cream sit on my desk for a little while it comes with spf 30 and uh comes with the goodness of niacinamide hyaluronic acid complex and aquaxil i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly aquaxil or aquaxil let me know what you would pronounce it as um it comes with spf 30 like i said and this is something i've really been looking forward to trying it's fragrance free and has a hydrating formula is what it says let's go ahead and give this a spin i want to thank the dermaco for partnering with 
with me for a small portion of today's video. The Dermaco products are clean and completely fragrance free. You're going to be able to get your hands on these with a 20% off using the code ANAM2023 from Amazon, Nykaa or Flipkart. I'm leaving a link down below for you. What's really cool about shopping from this brand is that every time you buy from them, they link your order with a child that they help educate along with Bhumi. They've pledged to help 10,000 students across the year. Go ahead and check them out. Okay, first impressions based on this application, so easy to apply and blend on. I feel like a lot of BB creams tend to dry out on the face really quickly if you're blending them with a brush. I'm someone that you can go ahead and use fingers and hands if you want, but I personally always prefer using a brush. Even for like things like face masks, for example, I will barely go in with my hands. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I always have really long nails, but I just prefer that from a hygiene factor as well. I feel like this went on like really, really well. I feel like it is not feeling like anything on my skin, which is always a bonus. One of the main problems I have with complexion products at large is that the minute you feel like you are wearing something on the skin, I'm, I tap out. I'm like, nope, this isn't for me. I want to feel light i want to feel like there's nothing on my skin i want to feel like you don't feel like you're applying any product you know what i mean and this is definitely making me feel like that i love 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 that it is a mix of skincare as well as um a little bit of makeup because it's got the tint in there it is something i would wear just as is like now i'm going to go for this meeting i'm not going to be wearing any makeup for it so it's just this and i'm done i would recommend that if you live in a hot uh, or a humid region go ahead and set this down with some powder I feel like that would really help just in general even if you're not using this and you're using any regular sunscreen I do recommend that if you live in a hot and humid climate set it in so nothing is greasy and uh, nothing melts because of the weather that doesn't have anything to do with the product but has more to do with the weather um, I'm gonna leave this as is we're in winter right now I don't sweat that much on my face anyway I am gonna go ahead and uh, just leave it like this i love the way i'm looking at the mirror when i look this way i love the way it's looking on its own even i'm not gonna build this up with anything i'm not gonna apply anything i'm gonna go to a meeting literally it looks like second skin which is what i like i like the fact that it's not full coverage um i like the fact that it's nice and sheer it's got just natural skin vibes and i get what they mean by hydrating and like glowy just in general is what i'm getting from it because it's not matte um, it's got a very skin-like dewy finish, which I appreciate. I feel like you've got to switch things up every now and then. And it's always interesting when you have something new that is clearly performing this well. I'm obviously going to wear this through the day. I'm about to leave for the meeting, like I said. I am not going to vlog the meeting, obviously. But I will catch up with you guys sometime soon. I am going to go ahead and leave a link to this product down below in the description section. So make sure you get your hands on it if you're in the market for something light and um, airy almost to wear on the daily. Thank you Dermaco for partnering with me for a small portion of today's video. I'm about to feel like a really bad blogger with this particular update because I wanted to show you that exciting shoot I knew I was going to do today. Wow, my battery is low. And uh, I did it. I just got all the blue off me. I think I still have some blue on my ears. Here. Um, I, here, see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. I have some blue here. I, I can't see if you can see it. Um, is it showing on cam? I don't know. I wanted to do the avatar makeup look. If you have not seen that shorts as yet, it's definitely up before this vlog. Please go see it. I'll insert a picture over here in case it excites you. Um, please go watch that shorts. A lot of time went into it. I came back from my meeting. I finished a bunch of calls, admin things, content planning things, this and that things. My battery is really low, I should change it. And then I did that, took my makeup off. But a lot of oil to hydrate, not hydrate, but like nourish my skin, not hydrate. Um, my battery is dying. And I have some more work left for the day. It is 7.54 p.m. I'll catch up with you later today or tomorrow morning, let's see. Hi, it is the next day. It is the 5th of Jan and it is exactly 6.08 p.m. I'm realizing that there is actually a downside to press on nails because one of them randomly popped off from my thumb while I was washing my hands. So I'm always gonna have to keep like glue on my in my bag, by my side, on hand. Especially imagine if I'm traveling and something like this happens. One of them was becoming really loose since last night so I kind of just pulled that out as well. So I have two of them here. The screen is looking a little bit orange and that's 
because not because of this light wait one sec let me figure this so much better there was a setting change uh yeah the reason actually i have started to vlog this late in the day literally today is because i've been filming non-stop since morning divyesh has left but kiantha and aishwarya are still wrapping up work for the day so am i clearly today's vlog needs to go up so i'm sitting and doing all of that stuff what i'm gonna do is take off all the rest of my nails maybe just give them a breather tonight and put on a new set tomorrow i have ordered quite a few press-ons online so i'm kind of enjoying the fact that i can change these every once in a while this set in particular stayed on on my nails for about six days i mean i could still just put it back on to be honest but now that i'm enjoying the fact that i can switch things up so often because you know otherwise usually i just switch them up once a month i'm kind of enjoying this side to things I know myself for sure. I will get bored of this in a while and I will go back to the good old salon nails. I do love a good set of salon nails because that's more sturdy than this stuff for sure. So just a disclaimer over there. It has more to do with your personal preference. I'm enjoying this new little toy. That's the phase I'm going through. What I also need to do is new little toy reminds me. We bought the new stuff toy for Simona's daughter. Uh, today I'm gonna go meet Simona again. Simona is my friend that I have told you guys about. I know I didn't vlog meeting her when she came down from Canada. I also, well, that day in particular there was a lot happening because I literally reached her house as she reached her house from the airport. I'm gonna go back and meet her today and hang out with her for a bit. But I don't know if her baby is social media friendly, like because obviously it's fair that a lot of people don't like to put their kids on social media so soon. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna vlog that or not vlog that. But if you remember the IKEA little snippet haul bit that we did, I did pick up a stuffed toy for her baby. I've actually ordered a whole lot of things for him. I will show you when the entire package arrives. It is coming in parts by the looks of it. So when the entire package arrives, we'll do a little baby haul at some point. Um, and I would just, I just, even while shopping it online, I went like, mm, so much cute stuff. That was literally me. Um, gonna take the rest of these press-ons off for now and um, finish some of the cheese banana chips we were eating. Hi, okay, I need your help. Here's what's happened. I bought, yeah, I went ahead and shopped another Zara thing. I told you this a few vlogs ago that I have a bit of a shopping problem at the moment. I'm trying to build a completely basics wardrobe so I can source all the fancy things as and when I need them, but I want all the basics in my wardrobe. This bodysuit t-shirt, I love. It's an even better material than the green one that I ordered a couple of vlogs ago, a couple of hauls ago. I know I've been doing a lot of this. I acknowledge that first off, please, if you don't have the need to shop as much as me, don't do it. For me, I know I'm just rebuilding my wardrobe pretty much, which is why I'm in this major haul spree. Um, I do have tags on because I'm trying the clothes out and I have about six or seven pieces, but I'm not doing a haul try on at the moment. I can always come back and do that. I have a lunch to go to and I was going to wear this fit, but I'm realizing on wearing these pants that they are A, a little bit loose. That's fine. We can alter it later. But they're making me look a lot broader than I am, which I mean, I feel like is not the worst thing because I do really, really love the color, but I feel like it's not flattering my body per se. So I video called my mom and my mom said the exact same thing. She said, you're looking a lot bigger in these than you are. Um, so I'm not really feeling the pants. I do have another pair again from Zara. Um, and I did like the way these fit, so I'm quickly going to change into these and then figure if I should keep these or not keep these. I'll also probably end up calling my mom to see what she has to say. Okay, now I love the way these fit. Ignore the belt. Um, is there enough light for you to see or has the light suddenly gone a little bit weird? Um, I really, really do like the way these fit with or without the belt, to be honest. Like even without the belt, it's quite nice, but I will wear the belt because the loops need the belt in it i'm gonna call my mom back just because with these pants i don't know why i'm second guessing myself i don't usually second guess myself on clothes um the issue i have with these is that when i sit mommy then these are the second pants i'm sh just see them over here and they come with this belt my main problem is when i sit it becomes like you know, a little bit weird, but then I guess with formal pants, it's not like that, I can't do anything. But they look really nice, right? This one fits me better. This one doesn't have that broadening up issue. 
they are very straight pants what do you think yeah they're better than that i'm going to wear these and then show you properly okay i'm going to hold on to these pants i am going to take the tags off i like that it came with a belt very handy dandy in that space um i have to tell you that when i sit down there's a little bit of a weird thing but then i realized ki wo koi bhi formal pants mein hoga hi and it's a very small price to pay for the fact that it fits really nicely the material is really really nice I am 100% somebody who likes a really nice fabric like even if it's the most stylish outfit even if it's the nicest brand if the material doesn't feel nice on my skin I will automatically reject that outfit so I'm going to go cut all my tags my makeup is pretty much done I just have to throw on some lipstick uh kept it super 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 minimal I've actually been changing up the way I'm doing my under eyes of late um if you guys want me to do a short sort of a little bit of a snippet in a vlog or whatever let me know i like my skin like this it's a little matte and it's a little dewy i've kind of just left it all nicely together i have my um IRL Paris filter that I have applied on my under eyes and nowhere else. I just like that it blurs those pores and all of that. It just kind of sets my you know under eyes in place. Uh, so even if there's a little bit of creasing, which is totally normal to happen after some time once you apply your makeup, it doesn't look weird because it's a really finely milled powder and it blurs up that area a little bit, which I like. Um, I've had my lip oil on since morning and I wiped it off now. So I am gonna go ahead and apply butter blondie today. So whatever you see me in next should be and will be butter blondie. I have it kept over here. I will try and get a snippet of my entire outfit and all of that. And um, I'm looking a lot lighter on camera right now because I'm standing at the literally like almost at the window and the lights on. But this is more. This is a little bit closer to my skin tone. Uh, I wear, in case you want a skin tone Aww. reference, I'm in NC40, NC42. I shuffle between those. And if you are a Lakme girl, then my Lakme shade, like the foundation Aww. I'm wearing today, very little off, just because I didn't want to load up on. I wanted to keep it very minimal today. It's a wellness lunch that I'm going to and all that um, with Nika. Uh, so I wear the shade Aww. 320 Warm Caramel. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna open up my hair, take off the tags. See you in a bit. for the Nike event you guys saw snippets mm -hmm. hopefully you also saw a shorts from that day and now Mridul is taking over my vlog. so we're not quite sure what we're doing most probably um, we're going to Sukhoth High for uh, foot massages Massage. to be fair they wanted to go bowling and I said I'm going home I said if anybody wants to go for a foot massage <laughs> I'm willing to not go home right that now. That she's lit up. Yeah, that she's ready to come for. I clearly <laughs> have a little bit of a massage addiction problem. Yeah, yeah. all of us do. Yeah, in this yeah. car, all of in, us in have. In this car, it's like massage. Even Mansi. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she yeah, loves. Good. So I think let's do that. Then let's go bowling and then let's have something to eat. I have to go home and work. <laughs> I'm getting foot massage and I'm going home. My team is at home waiting for us. So I'll, I'll steal your car keys now and your wallet also. What will you do? I'll take a rickshaw and go. Who will pay for it? Uh, Google, Google Pay. Google Pay. Come on. And I'll steal your phone also. I was, oh wow, thanks. I literally just said I should have got a light. I didn't come prepared for foot massage vlog. Which is what this has turned into it. I absolutely don't even know who I am. I have things to do. And in the middle of a work day, um, I've gone and gotten a foot massage. My phone, my camera's on a tripod, so don't worry. I'm just holding the tripod in place while I'm driving. They wanted to go bowling, which would have been mad fun, I know. But I did want to go bowling. I said, I'm going back home. Unless it's like a relaxing situation, like a foot massage. I would never skip on work. And they were like, okay, foot massage. And I was like, yeah, okay. And then we landed up going... For this foot massage, this is so unlike me to like play rookie and in the middle of a work day. It's not a heavy duty work day. Um, January is one of those months, especially at the start of the year, where things are quite chillish. Um, I've been using that word quite a bit of late, so I feel like you may have heard it from me already. Um, but I feel so not like me to have had like a foot massage in the middle of the day. I'm like, uh, who are you and what have you done with Anam? But if I knew that we were going to chill and stuff after the event, I would have told the team to like work from home or whatever, even though they don't need me per se. But it would have like, I, I'm just, I think I'm feeling guilty for getting a foot massage in the middle of the day. That's what's happening. I did enjoy the foot massage. I did get work done through the through the foot massage. I sat and replied to a whole bunch of YouTube comments. Wow, what happened here? 
um, I'm not the signal to money. And I sat and selected winners for previous giveaway um, uh, giveaways and stuff like that on YouTube. And I like announced them. So I'm somebody who even when I'm getting like a foot massage in particular, not a body massage. Body massage means like phone away, full unwind, relaxing time. But a foot massage to me is like, yeah, you could press my feet because like that's so therapeutic to me, um, literally. But I would like to continue doing things and not like disconnect from the day. So I, out of the 45 minute massage that I got, um, I feel like I worked for about 25, 30 of those minutes, which is totally fine. The massage was nice. Uh, I do think that Fatima, who I booked from Urban Clap, from just purely a foot massage experience point of view, was 100% more worth the money. Um, we went to Sukhothai, and of course, ambience is great, and uh, the girl who did my massage was really nice, but I don't think she fully... Like, this is me giving you a random foot massage review, imagine. I like people not to press my legs. I only like the sole of the foot press because that's what hurts a lot for me. Like, a lot, a lot. I'm not even joking. Um, so, she didn't quite understand that and I had to say it a couple of times. But my review would be I would still vote for Fatima over this experience, if that makes any sense. Was it good? It was good. But Fatima was just better. Um... Yeah, on my way home now, it is a chillish evening, to be honest. I don't think there's much work as such. We have an 8 p.m. reservation today for team dinner. So the whole team and I are getting together and going out for dinner. And I wanted to like, I, want, we, I was looking at and discussing with them multiple places to go to. Um, and we all settled on Out of the Blue. So it's quite funny that today's Nike event was also at Out of the Blue. And then somehow I'm going to land up going for... Um, I'm really sorry about this lighting. It's on auto and the signal's just gone green. So I can't figure it out again. And that the dinner was also for the same place that coincidentally the lunch was for with Naika. So yeah, it's okay. I ate a very healthy meal with Naika Wellness this afternoon. And I'm going to eat a very potentially non-specifically healthy meal this evening. Um... So that's that. I am gonna get home and figure things out now for what I might need to do in the evening. Uh, the team is leaving for team dinner, but Divya she's driving my car. Jerry's going there, and I'm going on the scooter with Kliantha because she rides, and there's only enough place on the car for like five people there, two people here. Okay, wait. <laughs> what do you mean one wipe so far? Are you looking for more? I have one life too. No, he didn't say one life. He, he said, said one, one wife. wife. <laughs> you want one more wife? How rude. Lego. Hi. Um, I spent this entire morning sitting with this journal. You know what I'm talking about if you are watching my vlogs regularly. It literally is just the top of the journal, the top of the journal, the cover of the journal says grow with the flow planner. I love it. I'm going to reiterate this is from Pranita Art and I think that the design work on this is so beautiful. Uh, if you have been following me for a while, you know that I'm not really into paper planners that much. I'm more of a digital girl. I write notes and use apps on my iPad that really does work for me. But I decided to give Planners a go this year and uh, Pico Shop, sorry, is her brand. I forgot that she has a separate brand name now, not just Pranita. And um, some of the questions in this at the start of the journal when you're kind of setting the theme for the year kind of a thing really, really got me thinking in a lot of directions, which I really appreciate. So I wanted to put that out there. I'm someone that's been journaling since I was like in school, um, but I journal digitally a lot so to me going back to paper is something that I enjoy for a while and then I get bored of it and then I go back to it and then I get bored of it so let's see how much I really keep up with this if I'm being honest in case you are seeing this thing here yes I have a problem yes I have been doing a lot of hauls if you have been following me for a year or two years you know that towards the end of the year is when I tend to shop a lot and um, then that slows down once we get into January so this package was uh, this order was placed towards the end of December or was it actually placed in the first week of Jan I'm confused whenever the Zara sale started 
you saw three pieces that I wore yesterday like you can just rewind a little bit in this vlog itself and I, I did order a handful of things some of which are going back TBH um, because I loved the pants you saw me try these on yesterday uh, I loved the pants in general but I do feel like there's a little bit of an issue with how they may make me look wider I feel like these I might be able to keep because um, I, I, I they have the same cut and the same fit as the ones you saw me wear yesterday all day but these I'm kind of giving back because they were just too thick all the way um, there are two pieces here two three pieces here that I actually want to try maybe I should vlog it let's move to the bedroom maybe I should try this one more time as well just to be sure um, I have picked up this gorgeous gorgeous corset and I don't know if it's going to fit me because I don't exactly um, I'm, I'm a big boobied girl I am thin in frame but I have a tummy and I'm big boobied so those are the things that typically make me love corsets because they cinch everything in and make me look really nice but at the same time they can also be really really uncomfortable a lot of times so just putting that disclaimer out there I'm gonna try a few of these things really quickly and figure out what needs to go back and what is gonna stay simply because I um, I need to return them if I'm keeping them but I have a feeling barring the pants everything's gonna stay you know I've been obsessed with Zara t-shirts this is not a t-shirt this is a crop top oh man did I accidentally order a crop top instead of a t-shirt oh it was supposed to be a proper t-shirt not a crop top i don't do crop tops anymore i barely do them unless i'm wearing like really high waist pants because i am a little bit conscious of my tummy i am human there are days when i'm not conscious there are days when i'm conscious living and learning and trying to get over it i'm gonna change into a few of these i'll try and show you whatever i can this i promise you will be the last zara haul for a while i hope i'm not saying this too soon it's just that i do have a little bit of a shopping alhamdulillah shopping um problem maybe not shopping problem that's pushing it too far i just really do enjoy it towards the end of the year and this time in particular i'm literally resetting my entire wardrobe oh in case you're new to my channel and you don't know i randomly said alhamdulillah uh, which is kind of like saying praise to the lord in a way if i have to explain it in english every time i hear a sale from uh, my brand i have a beauty brand verified which is a one-year-old baby um, I get really happy and so I thank God for sending another sale our way. I'm gonna go ahead and change into a couple of these pieces, show you, check in and then we'll figure what I'm keeping and what I'm... I think most of it I'll keep bar in this top and then one pair of bags. Let's figure this out. Okay, we're off to outfit number one and I love and will keep both pieces. This is a crop top but I think it's a nice length of a crop top. It's not like an under bra crop top. It'll work well with like high waist pieces plus it's inexpensive-ish so I feel like it makes sense to hold on to it. The pants I love, they are a little bit longer than I would like but I'll get them altered. I don't think that these have that same thick problem that the other brown pants had that you saw me wear yesterday. Um, all in all, I feel like this could work not as a look but individually as pieces I think it works. Okay, let's talk about the pants first. They're black, but they're not jet black. But they're very, 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 very comfortable. Again, they are long. I'm going to alter them. I'm somebody who doesn't get bothered by needing to alter clothes, so that's okay. Uh, the problem, like I mentioned before with me, is that my butt, hips, whatever you want to call them, are bigger than my waist. It used to be a lot bigger, the disparity. The difference between the two used to be a lot bigger. Uh, but it, there's still a little bit of a difference so I always size up with the pants irrespective to make sure that it fits the butt comfortably with the waist in this particular scenario also it is actually fitting really well I do have a little bit of a bulge here but that's just me and my tummy thing um, I will alter these and keep these again fabric's really nice this was a good Zara sale spotting on my uh, on my part I feel like with the Zara sale especially if you go in store my god uh, I didn't go in store for the record shop, shop this online obviously because the dabba came um, I do feel like when you go in store things can be a little bit chaotic because there's so many people all the time and I am just in general more of an online shopper so these pants are a complete thumbs up from me now look at the, this top from far and I feel like it looks super chic and then I'm gonna come really close for a quick second 
I love the detail and this and that, but I feel like as a big booby girl, and mind you, I'm wearing a ghar ka bra right now. When I say ghar ka bra, even that halka sa jo t-shirt pad hota hai bras pe, is pe nahi hai. It is literally just kapda kept for support at the moment. Um, I feel like I wouldn't wear this out just because I'd be a little bit conscious. I don't think I would wear. Um, I don't think that the second I would wear my normal bra, the one I wear from like let's say Marks and Spencers, which is the slightest t-shirt padding for your nips, it doesn't have anything to do with making them look bigger or pushing them up. Um, I think I would be even more conscious. As much as I really like this top, unless my boobs go down by like three, four inches, which I don't necessarily like. I'm not obsessed with the idea of having smaller boobs, but just putting it out there. If you're a small boob girl, you could wear this without being conscious. If you are around my size and you like the style and you want to be conscious, please go for it. This is just me talking about my insecurity, really honestly and transparently. But if you think it won't bother you, then go for it. The size is fine. It's it fits comfortably. I did struggle with the hooks a little bit because the hooks are so small. Uh, I missed one, and then that obviously throws the whole thing off, off, off its course. Um, but you can see a clear white line over here. This should not happen. When I saw it on the Zara website, it just looked really nice and cohesive. And this is where I think that because a lot of the models are skinnier. And have smaller boobs um, that I sometimes, even though I'm such a seasoned shopper, I get thrown off. I'll give you another example. This over here is such a gorgeous bodysuit. It is a black bodysuit with frill on the sleeves. But the minute I'm gonna wear this, and I don't want to wear this on cam, it's gonna have a really low booby neckline. It's not like I don't want to wear it on camera because like I'm shy or whatever because they do show like share the stuff with you. But I know it's not gonna work because I can like see it. Up with me para kochuki muje ke ye mili ne kam karnevala. It's a bodysuit, so I'm in general a big lover of bodysuits. I've also been investing in bodysuits a lot over the past couple of months, as you may have seen from my shopping pattern, and that's because I feel like they really help you put a look together. Together, you don't struggle with it popping out and things like with like it popping out of pants and things like that. And it also helps just tone the body, like not literally tone the body, but make it look more toned. Um, this is a classic case of small boob, big boob, small boob while looking at, big boob while shopping, confusion. So these are the two pieces that unfortunately um, are not going to make the cut. This was so, it is so pretty. I would have absolutely loved to keep it, but this white line is just not it for me. And I have corsets, uh, and I have had corsets in the past. Uh, I mean, I've always been big boob, so it's not like there's a problem with that. But this, I think, in particular, is something I ordered in a large. I don't want to accidentally pull it off because then I won't be able to return it. I'll go ahead and insert the size of this over here on the screen. Uh, and I feel like this line is a little bit of an issue. I don't think the sizing and this map was taken into consideration. So that's a bit of a disappointment. But uh, keeping most of the pieces, literally giving back only these two and that one brown pant that didn't look good on me at all. And everything else and keeping the Zara sale this time, I would say was a success. Okay, one absolutely last item I forgot to show you and these looked so good on the website so I'm so disappointed that these didn't work out. The fit and all of that of these gorgeous shoes is great. It's a small kitten heel but they are so weird. My toes stop right here. Okay, so obviously my fingers are going all the way because I'm pushing them all the way but the toes don't go all the way. The toes stop about here obviously based on the design of the foot and you can because it's see-through you can just see this big gap on the top and it's really weird I never thought about it before but with all my pointy toe heels because I am a fan of pointy toe heels in general you can't tell where the toe is stopping and it still feels nice this is a little bit rough it's not jute it looks like jute but it feels plasticky if that makes sense um, and because you can so obviously tell that the toes are stopping right here it just looks really weird and then my feet look exceptionally long because you can it's transparent, you can see where it's stopping, but at the same time, the shape is adding to the illusion of the length. I don't know, I'm just really disappointed. And in case we, in case you didn't watch that particular vlog, a lot of you agreed with me in the comments over there that Zara in general has really been shooting up its prices. So I'm glad I shopped out of these things in sale and I'm glad I found a pair of shoes, a pair of heels, I'm sorry, um, that didn't seem exorbitant. The actual price of these is 4,000 rupees. I think I paid about 2,000 or 2,200 for these. But even then, so they're going back. 
which is quite sad because I don't think I've really like ever had to barring those slink back pairs which were so loose there was an issue with them in general I went to the store and tried those also inserting footage here so you have context barring those I think I don't think I've ever had a problem with Zara heels Zara flats on the other hand I highly do not recommend because every time I've given them a try um, and I buy them they feel nice and then a few wears later they start giving me shoe bites so there's definitely some weird fitting there um, and again this was a conversation we had a couple of years ago in the vlogs and on Instagram as well and you guys said that you've experienced the same thing let me know sound off in the comments and with that let's end this vlog here i really hope you guys enjoyed it jerry and i enjoyed having our thai curry for dinner it was the perfect end to the weekend the wfm comment shout out for the day goes to apurva marathi please always make sure you use the hashtag wfm so i can track these comments and give you these shout outs see you in the next one bye